I'm joined by Intercontinental's CEO Andy Cosset. Andy, thank you so much for joining us. Great to speak to you. Uh, we had some pretty good figures. Are you concerned, though, going into the future, that there's still a lot of uncertainty, especially surrounding the economy here in Europe? Well, we're looking at a, we're looking at a very good outlook, I, I think, Francie. Now we've had a good set of results for 2010 as the business traveler came back pretty much around the world and although we've got some uncertainty you were talking about Egypt just before that's a fairly small part of our business the main drivers obviously remain America and uh, the new markets of China and increasingly India and in those markets the growth in demand is pretty spectacular and supply is still lagging so we think the outlook for the industry generally and for us in particular is actually very sound for this year and and for the year after but what about your exposure to North Africa in general? We're hearing, uh, of course, a lot of the protests that happened in Egypt spreading to other countries. Are you concerned that this may escalate and actually pull down the region as a whole? Well, we've, ta we've taken some uh, provision for this year off Egypt. We, we only have five hotels in Cairo, and actually they, they continue to operate through the crisis because that's what hotels do. But uh, we're obviously seeing things stabilized there, hopefully, uh, pretty well. And in terms of the region, it's pretty stable in most of, uh, most of where we've got a lot of hotels. So we'd be fairly confident about our situation there until, unless things take a very bad turn for the worst over the next few months, which we're not expecting. So our exposure is limited, and, and frankly, uh, in, in the region as a whole, it's still a fairly small number of, of hotels when you consider that we have 4,500 around the world. What's your take on the U.S.? A lot of investors we speak to are saying, well, for the moment, the economy is ticking up nicely because we have all of this cheap cash coming from the stimulus swashing around. What happens in two, three years to your business if actually we don't have a renewed stimulus? Well, it's interesting in the U.S. It's our biggest market. It's probably 60 percent of our business still coming out of America. We've definitely seen a rebound. We, we were up 5 percent last year in RevPAR, and so far in January, we were up 7 or 8. So it's strengthening, and it's strengthening on the return of the business traveler. And I think that's because business really got their cost base sorted out a couple of years ago, and now they're out and about traveling, looking to drive their top lines. And we don't really see too much to stop that because you have to grow businesses to grow your profits and returns. So we think the, the, uh, the forecast in America is actually quite strong. And supply is short at the moment because of the lending environment has been so tight in the last two years. Actually, very few hotels are opening, which will keep the, the rates high. Uh, will Europe seriously underperform the United States in the next couple of years? No, we think Europe's going to be spotty. Interestingly, the, the star performer in Europe was Germany last year, and that's probably because they actually reduced their VAT rate in hotels, bars, and restaurants, which was a creative move. And we saw an 18% increase in Germany, and that's continuing. Uh, Europe, Northern Europe beyond that, U UK is strong in the south, weak in the north, um, and south of Europe remains weak, but again, we have very few hotels there. Uh, what about business traveler? They were somewhat subdued over the last couple of months. Are you seeing a strong pickup now in business travel? Yes, definitely. Our group numbers are up double digit. That's the forward conferences and groups that book our rooms. Uh, and we're seeing them come storming back. You know, for about two years, people stopped having meetings and conferences. And there's no question now that there's an appetite to get out and start meeting again and start doing business. And we're seeing that reflected in our Crown Plaza, Intercontinental and Holiday Inn bookings. All right. Andy Cossett, thank you so much. The Intercontinental CEO there.